Hello everyone and welcome to the PowerPoint Object Show tutorial. We're going to get into the basics such as posing your character. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So first what you want to do is you go to insert and then pictures and then go to this device. Now if you don't have all of the arm assets, I'll leave a link in the description for that. So uh, yeah, well I'm just going to take one of my characters here. Pose it however you want to pose it. Alright, uh, now we have our character. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do an arm movement. So, zoom in, you zoom in to this arm. Right click, press bring to front. And then you want to press control D together. First control and then D. Go to uh, arrange. Go to rotate. Flip vertical and then flip horizontal. Now what you want to do is you select this arm. Go to picture format and then crop. Make sure it's the same height as this arm. And now it rotates like this. It rotates at the stem of the arm instead of the center. First, now you want to uh, send to back. Actually, um, let's make an animation. All right, so first you go to animations. If you want to uh, turn, rotate the arm, just go to emphasis and then go to spin, kind of clockwise. Make sure it's set at 0, 0.25. 0, 0 0.25 seconds. Now right click on this animation and go to effect options. Now if you're having trouble with this, just know that the smooth start is like ease in in Adobe Animate and smooth end is ease out in Adobe Animate. And the bounce end is the elastic tween. So uh, yeah, set the amount. I usually uh, do uh, 45. Let's do the there go. Now, if you want to make smears with this arm, just go to animations, add animation, go to grow and shrink. This will just make the arm bigger. But what you want to do is go to effect options and then horizontal. That will basically widen the arm to make it smoother. Make sure it's the same duration as the spinning animation. You can, you can either right click or double click. Make sure it's the pointer set all the way to the end. Adjust the size. I'll go with 130. 150 should be good. Now, if you want to make it even more smoother, um, go to animations, animation, and grow shrink. This time, set to vertical. And then set the amount to smaller. We could adjust this later on. Set the animation to with previous. Make sure it's the same duration as both of these. Double click or right click, go to smooth start and set the pointer all the way to the end. Adjust the size, I'll go with 80, there you go. Now we want to make a disappearing animation so that this arm is no longer visible. What you want to do, go to animations, go to add animation, go to disappear, okay. What happens? Now, if you want your arm to disappear, make sure it's set to after previous, so that it doesn't disappear mid-duration. So, let's get a new arm out. Make sure it's the average size. Duplicate the arm, 
or you could just copy it and paste it. Copy is control C and paste is control V. So like that. Make sure this arm is selected. Go to the picture format and then crop. Just do it like that. And now this bent arm is the same. Actually, no. It rotates at the stem of the arm instead of the center. So just adjust it. Now we're going to be making a bounce back on this arm animation. So for this arm to appear in the animation, you, you want to go to animations and go to appear. Make sure it's set to after previous. Then what you want to do is go to add animation, go to spin, go to core spin, get the justice. Set the duration to 0, 0 0.50 seconds. Right click or double click, go to smooth end, set the pointer all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Adjust the amount. Make sure it's not too much. I'd say around what? 10? Yeah, make sure. Should work. Actually, let me uh, readjust that to uh, 20. No, that's it. And now you have your arm animation, like this. Now, if you want to make a follow through, rotate this arm like this. Go to animations, animation pane. Right click or double click on this, uh, on this animation. Set the amount to counterclockwise. and see what happens, like that. So, this is a follow through. Actually, let me smooth. All right, and there you go. That's how you make an arm animation. If you want to add more animations to it, just go to animations, go to add animation. If you want this arm to actually, if you want this arm to uh, reset to like a bent arm, just go to spin. Make sure it's set to after previous. Make sure it's this amount. Now go to animation pane. Double click or right click. Push the pointer all the way to the end. And then I'd say 30. Make sure it's the same amount, I mean duration. Now, if you want to make motion blurs, I'll show you how to do that. First, you press um, slideshow. Then, if you want to make a screenshot, just press print screen or uh, windows and print screen like this. It'll save the screenshot. And just press control V if you want to paste it. Now, Zoom in over here, go to shapes, and make the shape of a motion blur. Usually like a triangle, actually, let me uh, just get a triangle here. I'm going to add a gradient to it, like this. So just both like. Set the transparency, maybe all the way like that. 
maybe a little bit at the top. And now you can rotate it like this. Let me adjust it. You can either you can either make it into this shape or this shape. But this is just personal preference, so I'm just gonna do it. Click both of these animations. Just hold shift like this. Good animations. Set it to two set it to 0 0.23 seconds because we're going to be adding an appear and disappear animation on this. So just go to appear. Make sure it's after previous and then we're gonna make it disappear. Set the disappear animation to 0 0.02 seconds, like that. And then let me get one of my arms. Just follow me. Just got wind it a little bit. Now I'm gonna make this appear. Make sure it's after previous. Maybe rotate a little bit. So, Alright, let's see, actually, let me add a winding animation, horizontal, make sure it's the same duration, and let's see how it looks, make sure send this to back. Oh, I forgot to make this arm disappear. That. Now let's see how it looks. And yeah, that's how you make an arm animation. Um, I'll make a legs animation in the next tutorial. So uh, yeah, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I'll uh, see you later.